Today, we are announcing the official recall of 1 million Samsung Galaxy Note 7 smartphones. Because this product presents such a serious fire hazard, I am urging all consumers, all consumers, to take advantage of this recall right away. Consumers have understandably been anxious, anxiously awaiting this announcement, and now it is the time to act. This recall provides two options, and that's important. First option, you can get a replacement phone. The second option, an equal option, is you can get a refund. It is the choice of the customer and the customer's choice alone which option to choose. The public heard our message last week to power down these phones if you have one. Today's message is to take that phone into your carrier or directly to Samsung if that's where you purchased it and take advantage of this recall. I'm going to walk you now through the mechanics of how this recall will work to make sure that it's understandable for all consumers because again we want consumers to act to get these phones out of their hands and have a safe replacement that they can use. First, consumers should look for the special code that's etched on the bottom of the back. That's going to be the key to figuring out whether or not the phone that a consumer has is subject to this recall or not. Consumers should plug that number into, go to samsung.com and plug that number in or call the company and read that out to the representative. That will be the phase at which somebody will be able to tell whether or not their product is subject to the recall. Once somebody knows that it is subject to the recall, they should contact the wireless carrier that they purchased it from, or again, go directly through Samsung to get either the replacement or the refund at their choice. We do want this process to be simple. We want it to be straightforward. And we want effective consumers to be able to take advantage of this recall right away.